Alrighty, pulling this Xbox 360 controller. Sold it for $14.99. And that's the last one of my controllers that I have. I have one more that I have to list that has that um the battery pack. So this one is the last normal one, but I gotta get the play and charge cord and sell that one as like a bundle deal. But yep, sold that for $14.99. Alright, this next sale here is pretty pretty nice. I took an offer of 80 bucks for this Sony Handycam. Um, I did charge a little higher than other people because I have a case with it, a brand new remote with it, an extra, um, a, an extra tape with it. I got a bunch of extras with it, so they got a good deal on it. Um, I keep this way back here. And I'm happy to sold. So what I'm going to do is actually, I had the way I have it packed up in here is nothing will move. So literally I'm just going to put this in a box maybe make sure no water can get in there and send it off like that. In Viva Pinata, it's a bundle of two games for the 360. One of those games actually, the one on the left sells for like $14.99 by itself. So, I figure just put them together, you know, sell them for $20.99 free shipping. And that's exactly what I did. So yep, $20.99 free shipping. Pull on this Nintendo Wii Nunchuck. It's actually new, sealed, but the package is kind of broken. Not broken, just like damaged, I guess. But I, put, I took pictures and put it in the description. This person got a good deal. This is $12.99 free shipping. I think you can buy these used for like eight bucks. So they only spent, you know, four extra bucks and got a brand new one. But yes, it's like, you know, official licensed Nintendo and all that. So yeah, not bad. $12.99. All right, pull on this Kobe uh, digital picture keychain thing. I had this when I very first started looking at thrift stores for stuff to resell. I picked it up for a dollar fifty. Someone offered me seven bucks. I said yeah, because I've had it for like eight months now. So I don't want it anymore. So it's gonna cost like three bucks to ship it out. So I mean, I guess I make like a buck or two off of it. Not too bad. I know it's back here. It's in here. Right? Oh, right here. <laughs> but yep, seven dollars free shipping. Oh, there's some other stuff I'm listing. Some games, actually my old scale. Try to make a quick flip. Also, a buyer wanted a refund, or not a refund, or yeah, a refund and return the item. So I'm going to have to relist this. Um, yeah, they said they were expect expecting it to be bigger, and I was like, the size is, is in the title, and it, the size is in the box. But yeah, it came back perfectly fine. I gave him a refund, and it should sell again for $19.99. Alright, here's a cool one. Pulling this Pokemon trading card collector book, like for your Pokemon cards. But when I bought it um, at the thrift store for like 3 bucks, it was actually full of energy cards. So yeah, it kind of took a while to sell, but I saw someone had one up there for, I think... I saw a sold count for like 45 bucks and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go 10 more dollars because it has a whole bunch of cards in it. Some of them are like shiny too, but they're all energy cards. But yeah, this is a really cool one. It shouldn't be too much to ship, maybe like 4 or 5 bucks. And yeah, 54.99 free shipping. Alright, pulling this Sony Dream Machine. Uh, this is also one of the first things I bought when I started reselling like 8 months ago, so I've had it sitting around for a while. But it finally sold for $19.99. And it's right here. Actually, it's in really good condition, too. And you can plug in an aux cord, so, like, you can still use your phone nowadays. And it has the iPod thingy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oop, there's a mixtape in there. I should send it. Alright, pulling the Legend of Zelda for the Game Boy. Uh, I've uh, just had this from, like, a personal buy from like 10 years ago so I probably am not making money but it's just nice to be able to you know kind of like recycle the games and make money back all right pulling this pack of six Sylvania fluorescent lights uh, these were I paid a dollar each so six bucks into those I got 19.99 free shipping this person's getting a really good deal on these because I think they're one I want to say they're like eight bucks a piece normally and they're paying about three bucks a piece on these, so yeah, not too bad. Ah, focus. All right, pulling this vintage lighter. Uh, it's a Ronson Whirlwind cigarette lighter from I don't even know when. Uh, I think I got this at the garage sale a while ago for like a dollar. It's really cool. It doesn't. It's not like the cleanest, but I mean, nineteen ninety nine free shipping. That's gonna be a tiny item to ship, so that's good profit. 
All right, next item here is this Chia Pet Dinosaur Rex. I picked this up at a thrift store for like three bucks. Sold it for $19.99, free shipping. And I've sold another Chia Pet before. Um, it was a Minnie Mouse one. That one sold for like $24.99, free shipping. So always look out for Chia Pets. All right, guys, I just got back from a thrift store adventure. Uh, I went to three thrift stores, or no, I went to four, actually. I went to two Goodwills and two Salvation Armies. Uh, yeah, I didn't get any footage. I just kind of wanted to get a bunch of inventory quickly and get out of there. So let me show you what I picked up. So these are pretty cool. I picked these up just because they were super cheap. They're 99 cents a piece. They're the McDonald's Toy Story um, toys. Uh, McDonald's had cool toys in the 90s. Uh, this is a 1996. One's open. It's just got a Woody in there with a hat. Uh, this one is sealed, but you can actually just like r take the seal out if you wanted to. So I might bundle those. We'll see if they how they sell as single. All right, next thing here, another controller. Uh, I always pick these up. This one was $5.99. I only paid up for it because it's pink. This one sells for like 20 bucks, normally like five bucks more uh, than the white and black ones. <clears throat> next cool thing here is a seven pack of erasers um these are pokemon erasers these were 2.99 i was just like these are cool i'm gonna pick them up um they're not vintage i don't think yeah they're from 2016 so but they're still really cool all right next thing here another 2.99 item um these are just like a three pack of bottles um i think they were going for like 25 bucks on ebay so and this is new too so i just i'll try it. i've never sold baby stuff so we'll, we'll see what happens um all right, I'm gonna show you these. These are pretty cool. I just uh, took a picture of this one on eBay, and it came up for like 20 bucks. So, and they're each a dollar ninety-nine. They're uh, Burger King hockey pucks for the Red Wings, uh, also from '96. So those were a cool find. All right, this is from 1986. It's a vintage toy. It's like a soft, non-toxic, safe baby's toy. It's like a book, a bathtub book, actually. Um, I picked it up for $1.99. I don't know what it'll sell, fo uh, sell for. Um, but vintage, maybe. I don't know. I just, I, I'm taking a risk on it. Alright. Let's go through all the games that I picked up here. So I think I picked up each game for like either a dollar or two dollars. It differs each game. So the Incredibles for the Xbox original. I think that only goes for like seven bucks, but still I picked it up. Uh, Attack and the Great Juju Adventure, I think that's how you say that. I uh, picked this up for $2, and I think they go for like 10 to 15 on eBay. Uh, this game, it was half off white, so it was $1.50. I just picked it up just because, I don't know, I didn't even look it up. It's a snowboarding game, so we'll see on that one. Uh, this one was not $2.99, it was $1. Uh, Xbox 007, um, I think it goes for like 8 or 9 bucks. All these games that say $2.99, I'm pretty sure I paid either $1.50 or a dollar because of the sale. But Advanced Warfare $2.50, uh, I think, on that one. Um, I don't know what it goes for. I'm just hoping it'll sell decent. Halo 2, um, I have a couple copies of Halo 2. I just, they, they sell, so I pick them up. Uh, $1.50, I think they go for like 10 bucks. And then this game, I'm pretty sure was one of the higher priced ones, I think. It's going for like 15 and I paid a dollar for it, or a dollar 50. But yeah, those are all the video games that I picked up. And then, I've got some more Toy Story stuff. This is vintage new stock. Or, I guess you, I guess that's what you'd call it, old new stock. So this is like the book for all the um, army men, and it has the army men right here. I did pay two ninety nine for this, I didn't look it up. It's got the Toys R Us sticker on there, and it was originally uh, $8.99. So I don't know what I can get for it, but it's just really cool to have that. Also from my childhood. Here's another cool one. Paid $2.99 for it. Toys R Us says $9.99. It's, uh, it's a sing-along. Um, it's got like all the words to the... I don't know if this is the soundtrack, but... Yeah, all the original sounds, uh, so songs from the film, and it comes with, you know, the tape and the book and sing-along. So I, I'm pretty sure these sing-alongs sell, along with, like, the read-alongs. I think they sell pretty well. Because I also picked up a read-along. Um, it's got the book. This is brand new. got the book. got the tape. I got it for 2 
And yeah. Oh, and by the way, um, oh, it's still in here. This one, the last thing, it says I got $5.99 on it, but actually I paid $2.99. Um, the lady, I think she just missed, I checked my receipt and I think she just missed, just thought, since these were all $2.99, probably just thought this one was also $2.99. But it's uh, the soundtrack, sealed, original, with the Disney and everything. It's got the old Disney sticker on there. Focus, come on, you got this, you can do this. $16.98, that's pretty cool with the Mickey Mouse on there. Yeah, so in total I spent, I think, $50, maybe like $52. Um, I think I can get my money back in the controller and these hockey pucks, so everything else is profit. Let's say, I think I can get 15 for these, and this one was going for 20 so I'm going to bundle them up for like 30 um, so it'll be a quick sale, maybe 40 so if I get 40 and 15 that's my money back. Everything else is just profit, so hopefully I do good, but if you guys just keep watching, you'll see my sales, and you'll see how well I did out of this, uh, out of this bulk buy. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed.